Fly ball back into left field. That's going to send Tauchman back to the track. He's going to look up, and that baby is gone. Home run for Martinez. And the Rays indeed get two more. And just like that, it's a two-run ball game. It's kind of rejuvenated that Rays dugout, and you're picky for this. A center cut heater that gets absolutely mashed. And they're going to knock Garrett Cole right out of this game. No chance to pick up his fourth win of the season. And now you look to that bullpen and see if the Rays can't come back against them. That ball was mashed. There's a drive. High and deep to left. And Brasso has hit it out. Rays on the board. And just like that, it's a one-run ball game. Brasso's second home run. He was down in the count, and he lit a fuse to that one. And Dwayne, I'm going to tell you something. That was great anticipation by Mike Brasso. His last at bat, he struck out on a fastball in looking. And he was not going to get caught looking again. And now Lau connects. This one deep to right, and that baby is gone. Back to back for Rosso and Lau. And this game is tied at three. Oh, and here comes Aaron Boone. But you, you got to say, Dwayne, they got greedy. They got way too greedy with Paxton. He was throwing the ball well. But all of the ups and downs, and it has come back to bite the Yankees here. And now the Rays got to finish the job. Do this one and skies it into center. Hicks will turn around and that baby is gone. Home run to center field and Lau continues to be red hot. This time with a three run home run and the Rays lead four nothing. Go back to at bat number one for Brandon Lau and he just got under a pitch delivered by Tanaka and hit it deep into center field just a little bit too high. Well right here he cuts down on the height, gets a fastball, and absolutely ropes it to straightaway center field. The Rays got another run on a pass ball. Now Meadows sends it into center field. Hicks will turn around. He's going to go to the wall, and this one is out of here. Home run center field for Austin Meadows. Rays now lead 6-1. to one. Meadows takes Tanaka out to center. You can hear how hard that ball was hit. That split stayed up. It was away, but it was up. And Austin Meadows absolutely destroyed it. And there's a shot back into deep right. And that baby is out of here. Home run off the bat of G-Man Choi. And it gives the Rays an early lead. Choi's second home run of the year. He has had a great run of success against Cole. Six of 13, that's his second career home run off him. And the Rays break out in front. Well, and the thing about G-Man, he took the two fastballs that missed the zone. Curveball for a strike, and then he got a change up, the off speed. And we're not close to being malicious. They were in the general vicinity of up and in there. Just shot back into center. Hicks will go to the track, and that one is out of here. Zanino, center field goes deep for the third time this year, and the Rays have a 2 nothing lead. Well, the, the Rays, uh, I'll tell you, they, they have, <laughs> over the last week and a half or so, have gotten the long ball working. There was a spell there where you were wondering just if that was going to be possible. They really weren't doing anything as far as the home run's concerned, and it has come alive. And tonight, Choi and now Zanino. That's a shot to left. Well tagged. That baby's going to get out of here. Home run for Zanino. Mike Zanino, a three-run blast, scoring Margot and Wendell in front of him. And the Rays have a big inning here and have grabbed the lead. It's now 8-4. to four. And Dwayne, the big inning 
all the scoring coming with two outs. You go back to the Manuel Margot, base hit off Adovino, drops it over the glove of Wade, that ties the game at four, and then they just keep mashing. Avila not fooling anybody at this point. Wendell with a rocket up the right field line, and Mike Zanino with another blast. And to right, back goes Frazier, and that ball is gone. Home run to the opposite field. First home run for Yandy Diaz. And boy, has he played pepper with right field all year and finally gets one out. And the Rays make it 10 to 5. Dwayne, it was game one, and I'm not even sure we said this on the air, but we were talking about with Yandy Diaz and his approach to right field, that he was going to be looking to get his first homer of the year in this ballpark because of that short porch. And it's taken him a while, <laughs> almost all the way through three games, but he finally does it. Got a ball with enough elevation and enough carry. He drops it in there, and more importantly than anything, he is added to the Rays' lead, and now they double up the Yankees 10-5. Yeah, a little breathing room. They did not miss them. They hit them all hard. There's a shot. Well tagged into right, and that baby's going to get out of here. Into the second deck. Kiermaier pulls one out, and the Rays have a 3-0 lead. Well, Kiermaier hit his first home run yesterday in Miami and jumps on this one to give the Rays a three-run advantage. He has in scoring position, who hits yesterday in Miami, and strokes this one back into right. All the way back is Frazier, and this one is gone. Home run for Choi here in the first inning to give the Rays a 2-0 lead, his third home run. And he continues to fare extremely well in his matchups against Cole. How about that for G-Man Choi? They did not miss them. They hit them all hard. There's a shot. Well tagged into right, and that baby's going to get out of here. Into the second deck. Kiermaier pulls one out, and the Rays have a 3-0 lead. Well, Kiermaier hit his first home run yesterday in Miami and jumps on this one to give the Rays a three-run advantage. And he gets hold of this one. That baby's going to ride out of here and up into the second deck. Kevin Kiermaier has homered in his third consecutive game and just like that the rays have tied this one how about that adama scores in front of kiermeyer let's see what the location is down and in and he just sweeps it the thing is off the bat you could hear the rays dugout i i mean you 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 knew it you you didn't even have to see it you could hear that dugout explode they knew it was out of here And that's a drive deep into left, and that baby's going to get out of here. Home run on a 2-2 pitch, and just like that, it's a two-run game. Adamas hitting his fifth home run of the year, third hit tonight, and the Rays make it 5-3. Oh, that ball was absolutely crushed by Willie Adamas, and there was not a person in this ballpark for either team that didn't know it. I mean, look at the reaction. Everybody knows it. I think Talkman out in left field gave it a courtesy turn, and that was about it. He shoots one deep into left field. Gardner will go back, and that one is gone. Home run off the bat of a Rosarena. His first is a Ray, and it puts the Rays out in front two to nothing. Usually, we might say, just listen to that crowd. But tonight, just listen to that dugout. Randy Rosarena.
Well, Brasso was at the plate last night in the ninth inning, and after striking out and ducking a pitch at his head for 101 miles per hour, that's when all the excitement began. Now the 2 2, that's lifted high and deep into left, and that baby's gone. Two run shot by Mike Brasso, and the Rays are answering in a big way. Here in the first inning, home runs by Rosarena, and now the two-run shot by Mike Brasso. Well, how about this for a start? He lifts this one back into right center field, and that ball's going to get out of here. Into the bullpen, Mike Brasso hits his second home run of the night, number five on the year. And the Rays make it five to nothing. Brasso picking up home run number two of the game. Just listen to that dugout. <laughs> That's an excited bunch.